uh, as far as the scale of natural gas line cuts go, this one is one of the more significant ones that you'll see us on scene of where it's requiring additional units to come. Hey guys, so Connor and I are on scene of a natural gas line break in the town of Parker. Uh, we're at Parker Road and Pine Lane. And basically what's happening right now, we've got our vehicle positioned next to the incident commander. So our battalion chief here is the incident commander. And we are uphill and upwind from the incident itself. We do that on all hazardous materials incidents to keep us safe uh, in case there's any kind of a, a spill or a leak component. We don't want that to negatively impact us. So that's why we picked this place to park. Um, and it's kind of far back from where the scene is. And then up at the scene, we have two engines. We've got engine 41 and engine 42 on scene. So we've already done our face-to-face -face with the battalion chief, who's our incident commander here, battalion four. Uh, battalion four is stationed in Parker, and this is the geographic area that that battalion chief covers. Um, up on the top of the truck, there's actually a little green light, and the green light also signifies that that person is in command. So if we missed that on the radio uh, and, and we didn't know when we got here, that's how we could identify who it is. Uh, when I got here, I, I met with the battalion chief and got kind of the lay of the land, uh, understood where the hot zone is. So basically, where's the danger point? Where would we need to be in protective equipment and, and breathing apparatus to be close? And we know exactly where that is. So basically, right where you see the cones and where you see the fire engine, everything this way is safe. Everything beyond that is not safe. That, that's where there's free flowing natural gas right now that they're working on containing. So as we're walking up to the area where this happened, we're in the middle of westbound Pine Lane. And the only reason why we're walking down this without any kind of protective equipment or uh, traffic vest is because traffic has been closed long back behind us and it's being controlled by law enforcement. So we know nobody can drive through here. This is a closed street. And we also know because we're using gas meters that the levels in the air right here are safe to breathe and they're safe to be in without any kind of a risk of an explosion or us being sick or having the gas displace the oxygen that we're breathing right now. So we know it's a safe place to be. Um, safety is the utmost importance for us and for everybody on scene, so we're always monitoring that. In this case right now, the wind actually shifted a little bit. It's coming right into my face and pushing the, the natural gas to the north of where we're located. And that's basically right where Parker Hospital is. So uh, the incident commander actually just ordered a crew to go to the hospital to check the levels up there. Doesn't sound like we've gotten any 911 calls from them, but um, Connor and I know because we drove, pat, boat, drove past there on the way in that there's a pretty strong gas odor outside. So we just wanna make sure that there's nothing inside that's gonna create a problem. Um, engine 41 is the first unit here. They pull the hose line and that is charged and, and ready to deploy if they need it. Engine 41 carries a thousand gallons of water on board, which gives them a lot of time to use a lot of water. Um, but if a fire were to spark that was bigger than what they could handle, Engine 42 is actually positioned to drop a supply hose and then drive to the closest fire hydrant and supply Engine 41 with essentially unlimited water supply. Um, so it's kind of like having a, a, a plan A, which is everything's going to go to plan and nothing's going to happen. A plan B, which is there's a hose line ready and firefighters are ready to assist Excel Energy if we have to, if an emergency occurs. And then all the way back to plan C, um, that if there's a significant fire, we have a quick way to get a water supply without running out of water in the meantime. As you're looking down the sidewalk, as we're looking down Parker Road, there's two tractors that are working on digging. And basically what Excel does is they create two holes, one on each side of the line that's broken, and then they clamp the line safely on each side, and they'll work to repair the section that was broken. Um, so it's, it's a very fast process because they're so proficient in the work that they do. And really the fire department's role in all of this is just to stand by and, and make sure that everything is done safely. And we're here in case the worst happens and there's some kind of an accident or a, an ignition or somebody gets hurt. From the PIO perspective, um, Connor and I will respond to natural gas leaks if they are uh, creating some kind of an impact in the community. Most of the time, no one knows that it happens except the property owner where the gas line is broken. 
Uh, but in this case, with a gas line that's ruptured right along Parker Road, this is affecting the commute for a lot of different drivers. And so we're on scene. We took a little section of video or a little clip of video, uploaded that to Twitter and we tweeted that out. And then our journalist partners in the news media will retweet that, share that information to get the word to everybody on the road that this is occurring, maybe put their mind at ease. So I included in that that nobody's hurt. Uh, there's no fire that occurred and there's no evacuation. So as people drive through here, they see all the activity and they're concerned. Um, our media partners know exactly what we know, that everybody around here is safe and that we're working to fix the problem. Connor's first day uh, when she started here part-time, we had a natural gas incident where a trenching tractor broke a natural gas line and a spark actually did happen. It ignited the tractor. There was a huge ball of fire that was there. Thankfully, the tractor operator escaped and he wasn't injured. There wasn't anything immediately around the area that was gonna catch on fire, which was good also. Um, so the crews are really just there to make sure that the fire didn't spread anywhere else. Uh, but until Excel Energy could get there to shut the gas off, then the fire would just free flow. So it was a really odd sight for most people. They're not used to just a flamethrower coming out of the ground. And that's one of those examples where the PIOs are definitely responding because it's out of the ordinary. It's very visual. People are seeing what's happening and they're concerned about what's going on. So it's the incidents where we know that something's just outside of normal is where the PIOs are really responding to document what's happening for our own fire department and then most importantly getting the word out to the community members and the news media about what's happening. Um, all of these incidents serve as a really good safety reminder too and, and it's really important to throw that out there that um, always call before you dig. So whether it's, it's a professional construction crew that gets marker service or whether you're thinking about digging around your house, call 811, call before you dig. Make sure that those gas lines are marked so that an accident doesn't happen. Want to be on our vlog? You are doing such a good job, I would hate to interrupt. <laughs> <laughs>